exactly. I wonder is AI is AI blockchain or is AI social media? Wow. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is yeah, it going to yeah. be in the way that social media has just become a a, a thing, a segment in its own right, a sort of part of the fabric of of daily life? Whereas uh, in the early days of blockchain, we all thought it could change the world, mm. and and that just hasn't come to fruition. And for a couple of years, that was a big space for investment, for thought, for time. Uh, and it just hasn't yeah. happened. We've, we touched on this a little bit last time, so I, I won't repeat, repeat too much, but we talked about the fact that AI has already had a very big winter, right? Mm. And this is possibly where it's it's kind of, you know, um, the future is already, already here, it's just unevenly distributed, and, <laughs> yeah. like, you over-predict the impact of things in the short term and under the long term mm. holds true, I think, for AI. Also, the other big difference for me is blockchain was is, has always been the sort of thing where it's a real technology innovation that's just struggling to find the use case yeah. whereas generative AI was adopted by 100 million people on, on ChatGPT within what it was the most record breaking sort of adoption cycle was it I think within a month yeah. or something I may have got those figures slightly wrong but people it immediately sparked people's imagination from the sea level all the way down and then that's yeah. the big difference to me blockchain is still quite a niche community of people that under, A understand yeah, it yeah, it and B understand what the yeah, business yeah. challenges are that can be solved with it so yeah. that for me is the big difference and the AI winter piece I think is I think we are very much seeing an AI summer, yeah. and I also think what we'll see is different models take the limelight. So we've had the year of LLM, maybe 2023 was the year of LLM. Mm. I think next year, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll maybe come to this the next episode, but I suspect other models will start to take centre stage, and we'll perhaps see a, a hype cycle around models yeah, rather than AI in general. Yeah, there's a couple I want to talk okay. about. Um, cool. Yeah, I think that's maybe you've hit the nail on the head of that difference, is that anybody that's seen a sci-fi movie or is familiar with Asimov or H.G. <laughs> yeah, Wells, yeah. They, they can un- grasp yeah. the concepts around LLM and Open the AI, pod bay doors you know, now. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah they, get, they get it yeah. instantly, yeah. whereas something like blockchain, like you said, it, it's, it's a data it's technology, more it's more nitty yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's less, far less accessible. I'd say it's more like the Linux desktop, do you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> how everyone knows that technically the Linux desktop would be more efficient for everyone to use but sadly it's just a bit too techy and it's got a lot better I, I actually dabble with it a little bit but that's because I'm a geek and I'm a tinkerer not not it's not you know generally there but um we may revisit that actually around the sustainability piece given Microsoft's um somewhat firm line it's drawing under the hardware or support on Windows 11 yeah. which is actually a lots of devices in 2025 and you know, that's slightly outside of 2024 are going to no longer support, you know, mm. no longer supported. So that's an interesting one that may push people down alternative routes. 